With a little over three weeks to go until the momentous occasion, a few issues have risen in the planning process for the king's coronation. The problems, that have seemingly just arisen in the past few weeks, could wreak havoc on the king's big day. Here, we take a look at five issues that are causing coronation headaches for the king, and for the palace. Despite the April 3rd cut-off point, the palace are still reportedly waiting to hear whether the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will be at Westminster Abbey on May 6. As the Sussexes still decide over whether to join the king for his big day, the seating arrangements are supposedly still up in the air. The cut-off date for most people invited to the coronation was end of play on April 3. The couple did confirm that they had received an invite last month, however, failed to note where they would be in attendance. During a fitting for his robe, the king is understood to have commented on how heavy they were. The king's comments have led aides to express real fears that the monarch could tumble on the day, in front of all those in attendance and watching live. The king and queen consort will sit in the centre of Westminster Abbey after being crowned, and will have to walk up to the chairs of state. A source, who poses detailed knowledge of the plans, told the Mirror that there is huge anxiety over outfits that will be worn by female members of the family, such as the Princess of Wales and Duchess of Edinburgh. The source added that, due to the last minute's dis, decisions are going down to the wire. Prince Andrew, who is no longer a senior working royal, has reportedly still not been told whether, or not, he will be allowed to wear the robe which signifies his position as Knight of the Garter. Sources have suggested that Andrew is furious that, aside from not being given an important role, he may not be able to wear the attire. The king was reportedly in favour of a larger procession, but aides are said to be mindful that it could be too elaborate. They are reportedly voicing their opinions of the spiralling costs of policing the event in a cost-of-living crisis.